salutations, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube. This is Mazes Rom once again, and welcome to another episode of my series, The Arsenal for Call of Duty Ghosts. Now, this episode is the one that you guys wanted me to do next, and it is my demolitions loadout for ghosts, and it is featuring the SC. 2010. Now, this is a favorite weapon for a lot of people in Ghost because of how good of a weapon it is. But in real life, it's actually a variant of the FNFAL that we've become accustomed to seeing in the Call of Duty franchise as of late. Now, the thing that makes this one different from all the other variants is that it has a built-in muzzle brake and it also has some ergonomic changes to it that make it more lightweight. And it also fires at 7.62 rounds, so it packs a punch, and it also has an adjustable stock to help compensate for that recoil. And it also has some tactical pickany rails that are added to it as well. So basically, it's just a Peruvian version of the FNFAL, and it's just improved to be a better weapon overall. Now, in game, it's a low damage and low recoil weapon and that's why it's a very very effective weapon if you like to use a lot of suppressive fire and to help us with that the muzzle brake will actually give us added range and damage at range that really suits the SC2010 and then of course we've got armor piercing rounds that will help us shoot through thin cover and deal the most amount of damage that we can deal now, for the perks that we have for this loadout, we've got Ready Up, Scavenger, Amplify, Focus, Tack Resist, and Blast Shield. And then rounding out the loadout, we have got the Assault Strike Package with the IMS, the Sentry Gun, and the Battle Hind. So now let's move on to the gameplay here. And this is actually a very interesting gameplay because it is on the map strike zone and normally you would never see an assault rifle type of loadout in strike zone because it's a very rush heavy type of map but i'm here to tell you that the sc2010's rate of fire will really give you a dominant type of loadout to use on this map and the reason for that as well is because you can actually tackle enemies at medium range very, very effectively with that muzzle break and those armor piercing rounds. And you'll be able to get a lot of kills that are just out of the reach of those submachine guns that you'll run into on this map. So you will surprise your enemy quite a bit in how effective you will be in close quarters combat and also at medium and just those longer distance uh, engagements that are very rare here on Strike Zone, but you can cater this loadout to those particular engagements as well. Now, the way you want to hold down this map is based on where your teammates are on the map as well. And it's easy to do because you can anchor the spawns for your teammates. And as you can see right now in this gameplay, I am anchoring the spawns near the bar area. And now I'm overextending over to the alpha flag area of the map. And I'm going to hold down those longer sight lines. And you can clearly see that this weapon is a bullet hose. You can get a lot of accurate shots down range just because of the low recoil. And then you're going to be dealing a decent amount of damage at range because of that muzzle break. And it's just a really good weapon. And... The pros used to use this weapon in competitive Call of Duty, but they kind of went away from it because they wanted to deal more damage at range on the more competitive maps. Sometimes you will see this weapon come out in Sovereign and in Strike Zone, but overall it's a weapon that's used mostly on pubs now, and it's very effective in pubs. And so I really hope that you guys do enjoy this loadout and leave me some feedback and let me know if you guys would like this loadout and if you found success using it. But back to the gameplay here, what really makes this loadout very effective is that it makes you resistant to most explosives and tactical equipment that you will see from the enemy. It works well against IEDs as well, and that's why I called it my demolitions loadout for ghosts because it really makes you resistant to a lot of those things so you can act like you're in a demolitions crew walk in there and just do work in enemy spawns without having to worry about dying to tactical equipment or 
or demolitions type of loadouts that other people will be using like noob tubes and IEDs. So that's where it really, really shines. And then of course with our strike package, that sentry gun and that IMS will do a lot of work and you can clearly see that it is doing work. And that is exactly what this loadout is meant to do. Put down shots down range, get your kill streaks going, and then just dominate in the match. And that is exactly what ended up happening here. So really hope that you guys find success in using this loadout. And make sure that you play to the strengths of this loadout. Don't be overconfident in really long sight lines with this weapon just because of the fact that it is a low damage weapon. And that is something you need to keep in mind. And just be weary of that as you tackle enemies in Call of Duty Ghost multiplayer. So now that this this uh, gameplay is coming up to uh, to an end here, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you drop a like if you did, and drop by and check out my other videos that will be coming very soon. And until next time, this has been Maze's Realm. I am out. Have a great evening and day.